Rhino beetles been eradicated only once in history. And Here on Guam, the battle of the bug continues. According to University of Guam entomologist Dr. Aubrey Moore, Guam's genotype of coconut rhinoceros beetle has local researchers stumped. That's why they're calling for backup. What we want to do is mount a uh, expedition to go over to these places and see if we can find virus that's attacking beetles, our genotype of beetle. Uh, we think we have a good chance of finding that isolate of the virus. Uh, if so, we'll bring it over here and introduce it into our population. The rhino beetle was first introduced to Guam in 2007. Fast forward to today, the invasive species can be found throughout the island, despite efforts to control their population. According to Moore, they've tried everything, including detector dogs. Here on Guam, um, we decided, well, we're going to need help finding those last few breeding sites at the end of the eradication program. So we actually had uh, teams of dogs. We had dogs and handlers that were trained to find rhino beetle grubs. The dogs would sniff out the grubs and then we'd clean up the breeding sites. Then there were tracking devices and tiny transmitters were glued to the backs of beetles. Why not use the beetles themselves to find the breeding sites? Findings showed Guam's populations are out of control. We have a big outbreak of adult beetles right now. And my big worry is that we have enough beetles flying around um, that they're starting to kill trees in massive numbers. This will create even more food for the immatures. It may not end until most of our trees are gone. Moore's hope is to launch the expedition in the next year. Already they've received $100,000 from the USDA, but it's going to take at least $4 million to sustain the program for at least four years. We're thinking that uh, some of the money may come from um, an international donor such as uh, the United Nations, because this is a very big, important problem for the Pacific. If it gets to some of the atolls, those people are going to suffer more than anybody because um, coconut is still the tree of life on those islands. If a virus is identified, it could bring beetle damage down by 90 percent. For more information on the coconut rhinoceros beetle, visit www.cnas-re.uog.edu.